In the past, it was their remoteness that protected them. But once modern society reaches these isolated communities, it often becomes their curse. Rapacious farmers taking land and deforesting, miners polluting, while the authorities either collude with or ignore the transgressions. Brazil's indigenous people now say that President Jair Bolsonaro's hostile attitude to them will only make their situation worse. We indigenous people, if we do not keep our guard up, we will lose a lot. So we do not accept anything less than what is guaranteed in our constitution. If needed, we will fight to defend our rights since Bolsonaro does not respect us. Our meeting has three main themes, education, health and territory. We are putting the emphasis on territory because territory encompasses everything. If we don't have our territory, we don't have health or education. The past four years have seen a 15% rise in the murder of indigenous activists across Brazil, with the killers rarely brought to justice. Brazil's indigenous communities have for long been struggling to protect their land and to maintain their languages and culture in the face of encroachment by industrialized society. But now they're fighting for their very survival. Only about half the 357 indigenous territories in Amazonas state have been fully registered. But President Bolsonaro has said repeatedly that not one centimetre more will be demarcated as indigenous land. Why, he asked, should 1% of the population have 12% of the land? Campaigners fear that will only open the way for further conflict. There's a feeling that indigenous rights have been abolished, with no punishment for those invading indigenous land or making death threats. What was already a bad situation will now be worse. The new government has placed indigenous issues with the Agriculture Ministry, which has promised to promote agribusiness. It's not what 80-year-old Neiji wants to see for future generations. I was born here. My father, my mother, my grandparents were all from here and they died here. And the new generation has come along to take care of us. They will not allow the non-indigenous people to take away our land. This latest battle in a conflict that's been raging for more than 500 years has only just begun. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Amazonas State, Brazil.